year is 2004. Uh, American Idiot by Green Day just dropped. Drop It Like It's Hot is new. I, Robot just came out. And Napoleon Dynamite is in theaters. You join us in a 2004 Audi S4 with the big dog Josh. What's happening? Going for a little cruise today. And the move is there's a breakfast sandwich rated five on campus for UNH. We're gonna go check it out. We're taking this beautiful weather, summer weather, and uh, we're gonna take you on the journey in this thing, a little time capsule, and keep cruising. All right, so, Josh. Yeah. Give me the rundown. What is done to this car, and, and more so, what's the story of you buying this thing? How long have you had it? Uh, I've had this car about five years. The story of me getting it is kind of funny. I had a 2009 Outback, nothing special. And I got bored of it, as you do with things that are slow like that. Um, so I sold it and I was looking for a replacement. I was originally gonna buy like an 07, 08 uh, Subaru Legacy GT with a five speed. And my brother looked at me and straight up told me, no. So I told him, find me something, round about 300 horsepower, stick shift, all wheel drive. He jumped on eBay Motors and found this car in five minutes and I bought it two days later. I should have done research first because I didn't do any research on this car and their potential problems until after I had made the deposit on the car and booked a flight to go get it because I bought it in Ohio. On the way back from buying it, the flywheel, common problem, let go, developed a crazy vibration. Uh, and then the car just kind of sat around. I'd drive it here and there, but not much because of the vibration. And eventually got to fixing it, but most of everything I've done to this car has been maintenance. Timing chains, oil leaks, I've replaced the transmission. Um, that was because of the flywheel issue, but it's been a lot of maintenance. As far as like performance and cosmetic stuff goes, cosmetically it's stock. Uh, this interior's bone stock, it's got an aftermarket head unit, but that's just modern conveniences. Um, Drivetrain wise, all I've done to it is make it sound good. I took the expensive Miltec exhaust that came with the car and I took some pieces out of it, replaced it with some straight pipes, and here we are. I'd love to get it tuned, lowered, that's my plans with it, but right now it's just a driver, it's my daily at the moment, and it's just a fun car to cruise on. First impression, hot. <laughs> I got the whole ham in one bite. Okay. This is good. This is a good breakfast sandwich. Nice. All right, it's good. The, uh, the chipotle mayo is the, the kicker here. Chipotle mayo is the kicker. You got your melted cheese, your spinach, your ham. All right, it lives up to the hype. It lives up to the hype. I'm liking it. Cruising back now, just letting this thing settle in the stomach. And so, my biggest question here: We got a 20-year-old car. Um, you have a couple different cars in the in the garage for yourself. Yep. Why keep this? What What keeps you holding on to it for however long you want? You know, if I'm being honest, that's the dilemma that I struggle with all the time because I've owned this car for about five years and it's spent more time broken than it has on the road like most of the time this car just sits in my driveway but it makes a really nice driveway piece it looks nice sitting in the driveway so I don't yeah. ever really lose too much interest in it but it's just the character that this car has so much character so many weird quirks about this particular S4 and it, it just makes it feel human. You grow an attachment to it and it's hard. I really struggle with getting rid of cars and motorcycles and stuff like that. I develop human-like attachments with them. So Josh has another S4, what year? 
Uh, my other one is a 2014 S4 with the supercharged six, uh, dual pulley, dyno sheet at 420 something horsepower at the tires. Yep. Uh, with the IATs running way too hot, so the car was pulling power. Cut to the clip. <laughs> What do you pick? What do you pick? You have a choice between the two of them. If I had a choice between the two of them, I, I think I still gotta go with the silver one because it's just a lot newer, it's a lot nicer. But from a character and a personality standpoint, I'd take this one all day and that's that's the whole reason I haven't sold it. The front end of this car, they had to re-engineer it from an A4 because the engine was too long. What did Clarkson say about it? Uh, they ranted and raved. Uh, Top Gear did an episode on the B6S4 back in the early 2000s. Um, I believe it was Clarkson that drove it. And his biggest thing about it was he loved the engine. Yep. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a bit of an understeery boat. It's about a 65-35 weight split. There's a lot of weight over the front axle, so it does push its way through corners, but Audi knows how to make an all-wheel drive and they know how to make it work. So it still sticks a corner like nobody's business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's got quirks. It's old. It's fun. Beautiful.